You have about four, three, four farmers that are growing ancient grains for you right now, yes. including Sossaman Farms. Yep, including Sossaman Farms. Um, the, yes, this year we have three farms that are growing for us. Okay. And, 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 it, and it changes year to year. Um, sometimes we have one or two more farmers. Sometimes it's just us or us and another farm. It's just based off of um, what our demands are. And is uh, Sossaman Farms now exclusively growing ancient grains? No, so Sossaman Farms, we are growing, most of our acreage is actually in alfalfa. Oh, okay. Um, so that's, it. it's simple. We're surrounded by houses, alfalfa. It's a lot like mowing your yard. It's, right. You know, it's not messy. <laughs> it's not dusty. You can come in, you can cut it, water it, and it grows. Uh, so alfalfa, though, being a legume, is putting nitrogen into the soil. So it's building up that soil health. And every handful of years when we need to rotate out of alfalfa, we can go into the ancient grains. Uh, so we have a healthy soil. So it right. allows us to uh, have, have less inputs. So our costs go down. It's a good rotation. Um, so that's kind of, we, we kind of circle around that way. Yeah, it's the rotation. It's keeping the soil health. Our farmers do that today. They'll uh, when you ask somebody what they grow, they use it, they never say one singular, especially if they're doing produce, obviously, but it's cotton, wheat, alfalfa, and there's that whole rotation. So the Sossaman's Farms is still doing the same thing. Right. And, you know, the farm's over 100 years old. So yeah. if they weren't properly rotating crops and building up their soil health, they wouldn't wouldn't exist anymore. Right. So exactly. that, it's a testament to proper farm practices. And Sossaman Farms is a century farm that Arizona Farm Bureau recently recognized a couple of years ago.